Welcome to D-Lab's Basic Training with your host, Fred and Fink. What do we got going on today? Alright, so it appears as though we have a failed kit build. The fault is distorted sound at high volumes. No smoke, no hum, but no good. So I want you to consider these three things while we go through this process. Is it a tube? Is it a bad connection? Is it a wire routing issue? Or possibly, is it possessed? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a visual inspection, then we'll test the audio, then I'll bring out a top secret piece of test equipment and see if we can find that problem. Here we go. So let's take a look at this little build. It's homebrew, runs a triad power transformer. This is a six volt transformer for the filaments of the tubes and the PT31 output transformer, which is sold by Amplified Parts. Let's take a look bottom side. All right, bottom side, this is where it gets good. This is a simple class A design utilizing a D-Lab ECB driver board. Never heard of that guy and a power supply module with a rectifier and capacitators. The tubes are Russian made. I understand that this design was from a schematic called Dora. Well, Dora, I think maybe you should have explored this wiring because we got some work to do. So remember that list I told you to think about while we were taking a look at the amp. I'm going with wire routing. You can see we got wires going all directions Got some intermixing of the preamp and the output tube. Let's go ahead and listen to this thing and see what it's doing. Okay, let's test the amp. I've got a looper hooked up for a signal source. Bring up the volume. All right, let's bring it up some more. Now look, I advanced that volume quite a ways and there's really no difference in the level. That's odd. Let's keep going. There it is. Yeah, that's some severe distortion and breakup. So as you guys know, I normally take and just tap around looking for issues. But I don't think we got that going on. When this is all the way down, she's quiet as can be. But there's some distortion. I think the only way we're gonna see that is to pop a scope in there. So to get to the root of this problem, I've hooked up a Tektronix scope my probe is right at the grid connection to the output tube. I don't have anything connected to the amp. I just want to bring up the volume and watch the scope. Look at there. Hear that and hear the rumble? We got a high frequency oscillation going on. And that's probably what's causing the distortion. Let me hook that looper back up and see what that looks like on the scope. All right, this might get a little noisy and nasty. Let's watch the scope. You can see our little oscillation. The music is riding on it. We'll crank it up. That's pretty wild. All right, so I think we can troubleshoot this without a signal source. We need to get rid of that oscillation. Okay, I've positioned things the best I can. So you can watch the scope. I'm gonna bring up the volume and there is the oscillation. I'm still monitoring the grid going to the output tube. Let's just take and move some wires and see if we have any sensitivity. Oh, look at there. I'm going to bring up the volume a little more. Look at that. See there? What we got going on is we're getting a feedback loop between the preamp tube and the output tube because these wires are too close. And if you take a look right here, you see this red and blue wire. That is the plate side of the output transformer and that is riding right by the preamp signal. So more than likely, we're getting some direct inductance off of that transformer. So there's no reason to troubleshoot any further. We know what the problem is. Best thing I can do now is power it down, make sure things are discharged, and rewire the tube sockets, and let's see if that oscillation goes away. All right, my plan is, just do one wire at a time. We'll get those laced. We're gonna get rid of these antennas and other sources that could be causing the feedback. And then I'll cut back. 
progress report, I've rewired the primary of the output transformer. So I extended the wires and made a twisted pair. So one goes over here to the power supply board and then the blue wire comes up here and feeds the output tube, getting it away from that preamp tube. Then because of the lengths between the input jack and the volume control, I use RG174 coax. It's grounded on this end floating over here. Okay, let's see if that oscillation is gone. Same test as before. I have the scope pro hooked up to the grid lead going to the output tube. I'm going to bring up the volume. Let's look at the scope. Nothing. Clean as a whistle. Let's get that looper hooked up and see what it sounds like. Moment of truth. Scope's hooked up. Bring up the volume. <laughs> Look at the volume sweep now. That's how it should be. What do we get when we crank her? I would say the problem is resolved. Well, it appears as though the amp is on the road to recovery. Wire routing is critical on these high gain amplifiers. In this case, Moving a few wires around adds coax, fix the problem. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you the next time on the adventures of Fred, Fink, and me.